It's the Sapira mattress. It's the high-end Lisa mattress. I got this for free. Well, I got it for a pound. I asked them if I could have a mattress for review and they said, yes, it's gonna cost you a pound because that's what their shopping cart requires. And they've got no input. So they've just sent me the mattress. No other input didn't ask to check anything. Didn't say what an input in any way, which obviously I would never agree to. I'm totally independent. And so I'm just putting it out there. They did give it for free. This is totally my opinion. And they've asked for no input. They get no input. So it's the high end Lisa mattress. Lisa obviously was started by British guys, but they started in America 2014, came to the UK 2016 with the Lisa mattress. Started the Superior mattress in the USA in 2017. In the UK, just, just got it in January 2019. Gonna point out, while on paper they are the same configuration, they're not the same mattress. The materials are a little bit different. I don't know about the, the pocket springs themselves, but the foams are different. This one is actually made in the EU and shipped from within the UK, USA one, made in the USA, shipped from within the USA. Obviously it's a 10 year warranty as they all are. It's a bed in a box. So why is it high end? What is the big deal? So it's a pocket sprung mattress. Obviously the difference between an inner coil mattress and a pocket sprung is inner coil, it's all one coil. So all bits move with each other. With a pocket sprung mattress, all the springs are individual. They all move individually. How well the covers are made, because the springs are obviously covered in a fabric, or should be, that can affect how they move independently. But technically they all move independently. They offer durability if they are decent quality springs over and above what you'd get from a mattress. They off, also offer better cooling because you're getting good air circulation around it. So it's a big thing about foam mattresses is people tend to heat up. It's alleviated to a decent extent when you add full size pocket springs. The other big deal about the superior mattress is the pocket springs go to the edge of the mattress. So it's common to have foam around the edge of a pocket sprung mattress, even though it's pocket sprung around most of the mattress. The reason for that is you tend to get roll off effect as you get towards the sides or the ends of a pocket sprung mattress. You also tend to give more, you know, along with that roll off effect at the end. So they use firm foam around the edges to alleviate the problem of putting pocket springs to the end. This is an edge to edge pocket sprung mattress. That means you get the full benefits of the air cooling. So the air can circulate all around, including out to the sides where it's going to be most important to get air in and out. It takes decent, quality springs to take the pressure from above to reduce or get rid of altogether the roll off effect and add to add the durability that you get with foam on the side. So you're getting all the benefits, you're getting durability, air cooling, and a consistent feel middle to edge. That's what you get with a Superior. One of the things you're paying for, you know, as a premium mattress is it's a proper pocket sprung mattress. They go all the way across getting all the benefits of a pocket sprung mattress. They are 15 centimeters high. They are full size pocket springs, 1100 in a king size. What I'm really excited about is the first mattress I've got, that's OE Cotex certified. So it's Certipure certified, but it goes a level above that OE Cotex, which means it's the whole mattress that is certified low in VOCs, no harmful chemicals and all the chemicals in it are strictly controlled and the mounts you can put in, blah, blah, blah over and above your normal EU regulation on a foam mattress. So normally, you know, great, certainly pure certified, but that only applies to the polyurethane foam. When it's OE Cotex, it applies to the whole mattress, the cover, the zips, the whole caboodle, everything is covered. So obviously it's a bed in a box like all the others. On the specs I'm expecting, you know, something like the Lisa was, is a middle ground mattress, truly middle ground, you know, so proper medium firm, they all say medium firm, but <laughs> they all feel a bit different. But a proper mi middle ground, I assume, going by the specs, which seem to be a little bit on the soft side. They do publish the ILD ratings, which tell you the firmness they're rated at, as, as well as the densities. Okay, so I'm gonna get on, unbox it, show you the layers a little bit, probably show, be able to show you the springs, because they go, do go right to the end. Sleep on it, do a full review down the line. I will say, I was surprised, it's a plain brown box. I don't know if that was, we were saying, look, we're an eco-friendly company because they donate one in every 10 matches they sell to a charity. So I don't know if it's something to do with that, but just, I was surprised how plain it was. There's obviously the proper box. It says Lisa and it also says Superior below that. So it's a proper box, <laughs> strangely bland for something I thought was gonna be all bells and whistles, giving the 
higher end status of this mattress. So the unboxing. I should say it came by UPS. I'm on the first floor. They brought the mattress to my first floor. No problem. Sometimes some companies say it's to your front door only. So I'm always pointing out that I do still get mine all delivered to my first floor door. Not the main entrance, but my entrance, which is a different entrance. So even though sometimes they say that in there, get out clauses, not been a problem for me of all the mattresses I have tried so far. So yeah, as I expected, given the plain nature of the box, there's uh, nothing else added to the box. It's just the mattress itself. There are instructions actually on the box somewhere. By the way, it does say, welcome to a well-rested life, rest on. And I thought it had instructions. Oh, yeah. And here it does have some instructions actually on the box itself. Unbox, carry the box to your bed, lay it on its side, remove the mattress and place it on a solid bed. Unrolling, remove the outer plastic, unroll and unfold the mattress and place it into position. Try not to pierce the inner plastic. Unwrap, carefully cut the excess plastic on the side of the mattress. Air will rush in as springs come to life. Number four, expand. Watch your mattress expand and take shape. You won't be able to resist your superior a quick test run. Enjoy. The top surface may feel soft at first, but soon the memory foam will kick in and relieve the pressure on your body. The pocket springs will contour to your body. Saying you can lay on it straight away. Now I always say, let it air for 40 hours. I know it's OECO Tex certified, but there still will be VOCs. No need to breathe anything in, you don't need to. Give it 48 hours to expand and off gas. To me, that's best practice, no matter what they say, but they're saying, you can lay in it straight away. They're quite happy for that. At the moment, it's UK sizes only. I normally like a, an EU for my singles because my feet are off the beds, otherwise on the UK size. But at the moment, only UK singles. visibly a lot quicker than a, an all foam mattress does that's for sure as I would hope and expect with the pocket springs doing their job I do like the feel of the cover already so less blue than the uh, Lisa cover still got the stripes on four stripes iconic stripes as they call them It's also going to be taller than the normal Lisa, 28 centimetres as opposed to 25 centimetres on the Jeep Lisa. You can really <laughs> feel a proper springy mattress there. It's interesting because they say virtually no motion transfer. Obviously, pocket springs truly move individually, whereas a foam mattress doesn't. So they're saying even better for motion transfer, but of course you're gonna get some springiness from it. So I don't know how that translates into zero, almost zero motion transfer, which they are saying that you will, you will get, because technically you push down in one area, it's only those springs being affected, nothing being transferred across, but you do get bouncy movement, which does have a, a knock-on effect. Obviously with a normal all foam mattress, all the foam's connected, push down one area, you're still gonna get some movement out. So there's an argument which you can say, they say, you know, generally for pocket sprung mattresses, better for motion transfer, but a lot of other criteria go towards that. You know, I'm gonna be interested to see that. <laughs> I've not had a full, not since the Otti, I guess, that I had a full size pocket sprung mattress. So. And because I'm just coming off of the neck to such a different feel from a you know, full-on memory foam mattress, you know, it'd be nice to make a change and uh, sleep on something like this. And hopefully it's gonna be a really great mattress. It's funny, even on the side here with the label, which I'll try to take a picture of because you're not gonna see it very well. Uh, even with the branding, 
it's the Lisa, like on the box that's in big letters, and the Superior just a little bit under it. So they're still going with Lisa as the main branding, even though the Lisa mattress itself is the cheaper mattress and this is the premium mattress. I don't know, these, these are things that I find uh, interesting. How they decided to brand it, because you would have thought, completely differentiate it from the cheaper one. And what you're saying is now high end Superior, big bold letters Superior, but no, it's mostly about the Lisa branding still. Going to take the cover off. Cover is polyester, but of course covered by the OECO Tex certification. When you get mattresses like the Eve and stuff like that, where fully Certipure certified, doesn't take into account the cover. And then it's a shame they put polyester cover on, which, you know, is still polyurethane foam and doesn't come under the Certipure. So at least you know everything here is certified. So the zip is going to be awkwardly underneath. I don't know if you can wash this cover. I'm guessing not because. It is fully removable. So maybe we'll have a look on the label. There is a label here. Ooh. This cover is zipped for ease of manufacture and should not be removed. So I'm finding this more and more, they do not like you removing uh, the cover. So I'm gonna point that out, do not remove. And also this is a no wash cover anyway. It does say no wash, sometimes they say don't wash says you can wash machine wash on the label. 98% polyester, 2% lycra polyester. So lycra, you know, it, when they add it to the cover, I do think it gives it a nicer feel. Technically, it's gonna add some stretch to it. So yeah, oh, I'm gonna avoid my warranty. <laughs> oh, my free mattress now. They've actually handily tucked it in. I remember when uh, Simba, used to say, don't take our cover off and your, your warranty is voided if you do. They actually put a little, plastic fastener on it just to make sure not that you couldn't replace that but actually this is quite awkward to get out i might need a screwdriver yeah i'm gonna need a screwdriver Not the easiest cover in the world to remove. I will point out, do not do this at home. It will void your warranty. I have to say at this point, oh, I, th I was gonna say zero smell, only right close up. Can I uh, actually smell anything? So very, 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 very low smelling mattress. Only, <laughs> only with a really big sniff. Can I smell anything close up? Now, it's come from the EU. I don't know if this is a fire stocking or not, or protective stocking. I'm gonna to have to snip it off anyway. But uh, the foams themselves, as well as the cover, should be fire retardant, or should be okay. I'm gonna get some scissors. So there are the springs. They're not hidden, as in some mattresses. They are. 15 centimeters. I was just going to count the turns because I wasn't showing me turns. Of course, these are only the edge ones. I don't know what's in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like six and a half turns. So, I'm not going to lay on it yet because I want to give it the 48 hours as I always do before subjecting it to any weight bearing at all. So polyurethane foam top layer, four centimeters. Now I was gonna say four centimeters for the memory foam layer below that, but it looks less on this one. And what should be two and a half centimeters top and bottom. Looks a little bit different. Gonna just see how tall it is at the moment. Of course the memory foam will take longer than the other foams to recover full size, because that's the nature of memory foam. So 27 centimeters. So there's another cent seven, there's another centimeter of growing to do. And I, th yeah. So I guess that's just gonna be the memory foam that's gonna come another centimeter. So we'll have four centimeters of pure comfort layer, another two and a half centimeters. And it's really important what's above the springs because you don't really wanna be feeling the springs below you. That's the problem. Yeah, you get a full size spring 
you get a full-size pocket sprung mattress and on lower end mattresses you probably will feel the foam because of the foam above it or either there's not enough or it's too soft there's plenty of foam above that i certainly can't feel it with my hands but you can certainly feel it's on a sprung mattress because they are full size it's just to say 50 kilos per cubic meter polyurethane foam 50 kilos per cubic meter memory foam 32 kilos per cubic meter the boxing in kind of what they call stabilizing on either side of the pocket springs top and bottom so pretty much in line with what you'd expect for the foam it's all about the pocket springs that's what you're really getting this mattress for and whether they really are zero motion transfer and do you get the quick softening up one of the biggest issues that I and other people seem to get on foam mattresses is how quickly you get localized softening which completely alters how you felt on day one and that's what if I was buying this mattress and I didn't buy it as I said one of the things I would be paying that money for is that increased durability of quality pocket springs obviously it's all in the testing and I don't know till I sleep on it and really I'd have to have it a year before I could really tell you but you do get your of course your hundred night trial so I'm now going to sleep on my mattress well I'm gonna do that in two days and I'm then gonna report back and tell you my experience on my superior mattress thank you for watching UK.